this is the uh, Spectrum XBC100 smart checker that I've had for a couple of years. And it'll, uh, you can use it to check your uh, battery voltages and balance batteries. And, but it also has a built-in servo tester that I use when I'm setting up a new airplane. And um, center on a spectrum radio is 1,520 microseconds. And uh, all the way one way is 1020 microseconds. And the other way is 2020 microseconds. Uh, the normal range, if your radio is set to 100% of travel, is uh, 1120 to 1920. And you can turn this down to that. So if you double tap that middle button, it'll start running the servo back and forth. And it shows you the current draw on that servo. It's sitting at zero milliamps on the left side. And then if you uh, turn this down, tap the down button, you can turn the travel down to 1120. So now it's going 1120 to 1920, which is 1520 plus or minus 400 microseconds. That's the normal 100% throw on the spectrum. And if you want to, you know, get more throw, you can increase the dual rates to like 125%. Of course, if that's the case, then you need to leave it set for 1520 plus or minus 500 or 1020 to 20, 20 microseconds and let it run all the way both ways. Make sure you don't have any binding. But um, I use it to adjust the linkages on a new airplane. I hook up all the servos and the retracts one at a time to this checker and exercise them and uh, make sure they don't draw current, especially a landing gear when they're up or down. I want to make sure that the current draw drops to zero milliamps. And servos, you don't want to see too much current draw. You want to go, you want to see them go to zero when the, uh, when you go from uh, like one end to the other. So I've got it set for 1120 to 1920. I can turn that back up. If I put it back in cycle mode and hit the up arrow, now it's um, 1020 to 2020. And then a single tap, it goes from one end to the center and back to the other end. You can see the current jump up while the servo is moving and then it drops back down to zero when it gets to full travel and so you want to make sure that your servos aren't drawing current at full travel and like if you have dual elevators uh two elevator servos two other on servos two flap servos you want to set the microsecond pulse width to you know where neutral needs to be or flaps up position and you can set both of your flaps to where they're uh, all the way up centered and ailerons elevator rudder so forth so pretty handy checker i think i gave forty dollars for it a couple of years ago everybody needs one that's about oh one other thing when i was putting this plane together I noticed that the little uh, countersunk screw that holds the ball on the control horn, one of them especially, I could see the whole head of the screw sticking up above the ball. So you wanna make sure that all of those screws are snug all the way down on the ball because sometimes they don't get them all the way tightened. So be sure and check that. You might want to check the uh, screws that hold the servo arms on as well. Anyway, that's it.